let's see how things fall in gravity. Here we have uh, a little scale here. And so here is a uh, US nickel coin here, which is reading around five grams. Let's go with a piece of paper. This paper has a mass of looks like six grams. All right, nickel versus paper, three, two, one, so we can see the same rule. Because the paper is very broad and flat, it can catch a lot of air and slow down by air resistance. That's the only reason that it doesn't hit the ground at the same time. In order to demonstrate that, if I take the same piece of paper, the same paper, and instead of allowing it to be broad and flat, I'm going to crumple it up as tight as I can. All right, paper take two, three, two, one, drop. So you can see, same mass, the only thing we changed was the cross-sectional surface area. So it doesn't catch as much air resistance, and of course, in that case, it hit the ground at the same time as well. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.